Welcome back to UKS up guys and today here we've got the M14 replica and this is in a nice real wood finish and it actually looks pretty cool. So key things really to point out straight away is the real wood finish on this is a really high quality. It looks nice and it feels nice and it's based on the actual replica M14. This is also built mainly from steel so obviously you've got that nice replica weight to this as well which is really nice. So this would suit obviously your reenactments but also if you want some great looks on the field just imagine taking this thing out. You're going to have some great realistic obviously action and it's just a great rifle altogether which you'll soon see. So obviously as mentioned we've got a nice wood finish on this with steel parts so it's a nice long rifle this and it's an authentic design. Along the top you've got your standard iron sights which are fully adjustable at the back here and obviously at the front. What I like about this thing is on the butt of this is where you actually access the battery and it's dead easy to open this compartment. First of all lift up the butt and then open the catch up. And there you go, that's as easy as it is to access your battery compartment. The nice thing about this M14 replica is you've actually got a single fire mode and also a fully automatic. So your selector switch is located here, currently in the semi-automatic position. If you twist this round, you've got your fully automatic. So your safety catch is designed on the original as well, nice and unique positioning in front of your trigger. Your high cap magazine is easily released with the actual trigger here. But my favourite part about the M14 replica is actually the fully functional cocking handle, which if you pull back and listen, has that really nice metallic sound to it, just like the original. So for any reenactor, that just gets you really excited when you're actually using that. So how do we load the M14 then? So firstly, get yourself some nice high quality BBs. I'm going to use 0.2 gram for this. Your high capacity magazine is going to last you for some period of time. It's 320 rounds. Open the hatch and fill from the top of the magazine. And when the magazine is full, make sure to wind the wheel at the bottom until you start feeling some resistance. Your magazine can then be fed back into the chamber until you hear it click. And there you go, you're locked and loaded and you're ready to have some fun with this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to the range, I'm going to test the FPS as well, and we're going to give you a final verdict on what the actual thoughts are on this thing. But first we're going to go for semi-automatic. And now the full auto. So what's the final verdict after shooting the M14 then? What do I think about this thing? Now, I'm gonna say straight away, this thing is extremely accurate. I got almost every single target down first hit with the iron sights without having to adjust anything. But on top of that, and the most exciting part, is when you actually shoot this, it's got a really nice poppy, but snappy, smooth sound to it. So it's really, really nice actually on the ears, and it actually has some good satisfaction rating with this. It was dead easy to reload. Obviously when I'm reloading, I'm using the cocking handle, which just feels nice and authentic on there. So that just adds to the fun with this thing. When I'm holding it, actually has got quite a bit of weight to it. So obviously carrying this around for long periods of time could wear you out. So definitely invest in a sling with the attachments on the bottom. However, all in all, this thing would be great and it'd be a great addition to either displaying or having some amazing fun in your woodland environments. So if you want to buy this gun from us, visit ukairsoft.co.uk, the link's on the screen now, where you'll find this rifle, as well as loads of other pistols, shotguns, SMGs, other rifles, 
and pyrotechnics about everything you need to be fair. Make sure to drop us a comment down below. Let us know what you think of the M14. Is this something that you'd purchase? If is it something that you've actually got already? I'd love to hear what your comments are and what you actually think to this thing. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. We'd love to have you back and obviously see you in the next reviews. Until next time, we'll see you soon.